Global financial markets have started the year with increased volatility. This should have come as no surprise given the divergence in central bank monetary policy that is now underway. In late 2015, the US Federal Reserve began the process of normalising interest rates, lifting their target rate from a range of 0 to 0.25% to a new range of 0.25% to half a percent. The US Fed also signalled that they plan to raise interest rates further in 2016. At the same time, the central banks of Japan and Europe have undertaken further monetary policy easing. However, with interest rates already at zero, this new stimulus has come in the form of negative interest rates, with the official rate in Japan at minus 0.1% and Europe at minus 0.3%. Further cuts in these rates deeper into negative territory are expected through 2016. Global investors are concerned that negative interest rates may not provide the support these economies need, especially as they have proven very challenging for many banks. Global economic data is not, however, that bad. Growth is expected to be 3.4% in 2016, which although below the long-term trend near 4%, is up from 3.1% in 2015. Even at this modest growth rate, labour markets are improving, with the unemployment rates trending down in the US, Europe, UK and Japan. In addition, economic growth in China looks to be stabilising, while the fall in oil prices is a positive for global consumers. For investors, therefore, it will be important to focus on the long-term fundamentals, which are not that bad, and avoid getting caught up in any day-to-day -day volatility.